We want to prove using the epsilon delta definition that the limit as x approaches 6 of x squared plus x equals 42. So first of all, to start this, we are going to say given any epsilon greater than 0, we want to find a delta such that when we take the difference between the x and the value we're approaching, in this case a 6, less than delta. Oh, and by the way, we always put 0 less than on here so that we know that x doesn't equal 6. It's got to be a positive number here when we do the difference. Then that implies that the difference between the function and what we're claiming is the limit, so x squared plus x minus 42, that distance is less than epsilon. All right, so let's see what we need for a requirement on delta given any epsilon. This stuff inside the absolute values will factor, so we have the absolute value of x plus 7, x minus 6, and property of absolute values, if you have the absolute value of a product, that equals the absolute value of each of the factors and then multiplied together. So this is true. Now as we look at this, we want this to be less than epsilon. So if I take this absolute value of x minus 6, I want to put some requirement on it so that it is small when I multiply it to the x plus 7. So I'm going to choose, and this is just something that we do here because then it'll work to lead us to a delta. And remember these aren't unique, so you could have maybe made another choice, but we typically pick it less than 1 so that we have a positive number less than 1. So fraction here multiplied by the x plus 7 will make that number even smaller. All right, so absolute value of x minus 6 less than 1 would mean if we get rid of the absolute value that it's in between 1 and negative 1. And then we can add 6 to everything, and that would leave me 5 is less than x, which is less than 7. So we have this requirement that x be in between 5 and 7, and now we want to figure out x plus 7. So we're going to add 7 to everything in this inequality. That would give me 12 is less than x plus 7 is less than 14. So I have this restriction now, and so I can say the absolute value of x plus 7, I want that less than 14. We can come back to this piece right here needing to be less than epsilon, and this is less than 14. I could replace this then with a 14, and then have x minus 6, and I know that would be less than epsilon, and so the absolute value of x minus 6 will be less than epsilon over 14. Now I had two different choices here and so I'm going to want the minimum of 1 because that's what I had for my restriction here or this restriction epsilon over 14. So given epsilon greater than 0 then x minus 6 less than delta implies that x squared plus x minus 42 is less than epsilon. So we want delta to be the minimum of those two numbers and then by the definition of limit we've shown that that limit is 42.